Hi guys, JJ here, back with another video, and today we have quite a special video, I suppose you could say. Uh, yeah, this video is about my first year on YouTube, which you've probably already seen by the title. So yeah, first off, I want to uh, basically talk about like my first year of YouTube, what I thought about it, my reasoning for starting, like the history, where I've done my achievements and stuff. And then I want to talk about how I want to change my videos now. Because I'm thinking I want to start uploading less, probably maybe twice a week or something, and just have better quality. Because at the moment it's just, my videos are just pure rambling, is what I, I feel, at least. So yeah, let's get started with my reasoning for starting YouTube. Um, one quick thing guys, I am going to be putting down timestamps in the description for your, uh, so basically so you can just scan through and like see like, oh he's talking about that for whatever kind of thing. Thought that would uh, that would help you guys. So yeah, my reasoning for starting YouTube. I had one good friend. It's shaded. Uh, he's an uh, IRL, IRL friend as well. He started YouTube in the beginning of 2013, and I thought that was an awesome idea. I've been watching people like the Minecrackers, Hermitcraft, uh, and stuff for probably about six months, maybe t a year. Then, probably I think about a year. Yeah and uh, I've been loving them, I thought it was awesome that people did YouTube and stuff and I thought oh I'd love to do it as well but I just didn't have the computer for it really and I still have one of those squeaky voices that still hadn't got deep like it is now. Um, yeah so it shaded he started up in the beginning in January 2013 and I thought well I need to get a better computer so I got a better computer uh, in the UK I got it as a birthday present and my birthday is on March the 20th if you guys did not know that and basically I got my computer on May the 13th and that was when I uploaded basically my first video. It was sort of a weird introduction video and I was kind of doing a Bear grill style thing where I made it this helicopter. I jumped out of it and then I said that I had to kind of survive in the YouTube kind of thing. It was, it was kind of weird but at the same time it was rather funny. Um, but it was very very staged and so I didn't get very much praise for that. Um, after that I Basically, I joined this server called Fortunacraft. I've never done a single player apart from when I was looking for servers and it took too long uh, just before MEP. But I only got to 10 episodes and then I stopped it because it was just a load of crap and I don't like doing single player let's plays. I just find them terrible. Um, I love to watch them, like Ether and stuff, but I just really don't like doing them myself. Um, so yeah, I joined Fortunacraft. That it was a awesome server. I loved it to bits. Uh, the guys on there were awesome, Shuby, Lex, Ultra, Shaded, Flyware. Flyware was another one of my friends, which secretly started YouTube at the same time as Shaded, but we only found out, like everyone, no one knew about it, but people started to find out when I started, so that was like five months later, so he'd secretly been doing it. I'd even been over to his house and I'd seen the Let's Play world that he was playing in, just didn't really, just didn't really sort of occurred to me that that could have been his, that was his YouTube uh, series, Let's Play uh, World, which was kind of weird. So yeah, um, Fortuna Craft, that was really good fun, I love that server, and unfortunately it, it basically it shut down in, when was that, September, no not September, I'd say about August of 2013, because, um, what are they called, Beast Node, they lost all server, everything, until before I even joined. So it was pointless and also the owner did not want to pay anymore and wanted to stop doing YouTube and stuff so that was quite a shame you could say. Uh, from then I moved on to the Glowcrack server which was run by a little 12 year old who loved to play paintball and it was a load of crap and I went there with Ultra and we moved away as quick as we could which was about five days when we got kicked off for apparently stealing a beacon or something ridiculous who knows. Um, so yeah, after that, Lex, who was another guy from Fortuna Craft, he joined that server, saw that we'd been there, and left as quick as we could, and <laughs> followed us to the uh, the other server, which I've completely forgotten the name of. Um, that was a pretty good server until it turned out that some people were hacking and stuff, which made it really annoying. These were both YouTube servers, or at least meant for small YouTubers, but still had regular players on, so we didn't really agree with that, and uh, moved on. So yeah, then uh, Ultra came to Farside. The Farside server is actually quite a big server. It's got a few big players on, and those players were, yeah, they were they were pretty nice people. But they, I don't know, it just 
it seemed like a lot more of an older, like Minecraft, all the people I know on Minecraft, of course, you've got like Pyro and MC, which are still like, well, I don't know how exactly how old they are, 18, 20 years old or something. But still, th most of the people in there were like 30 years old and had like kids and stuff and were parents. And it was, I don't know, it was just kind of weird. So Ultra went on there and later off he got, he got kicked off and basically stopped YouTube, made another channel, made another channel, made another channel. And that's how it carried on really. If you guys want to check him out, I think his uh, his, uh, his YouTube name is now The Crow's Nest. You can go check him out, and Flyware is just basically Flyware. You can check both of them out, they're really cool guys, and they are awesome. I, I, they really helped me in the beginning of my YouTube's YouTube career, I suppose you could call this. Uh, so yeah, that's it really. Then I came to October, and I was still looking for a server, and I found MEP. I was so annoyed that I didn't get on far side. I was literally like... Oh god, come on, Audra got on there, I didn't, why, why not me? But, I didn't really care, because MEP is awesome. Ultra left far side, I don't know, like, two months in or something. And I'm still here, strong, the community is brilliant, I love these guys, they're that awesome. Guys, just a shout out to everyone on MEP, I don't want to name names, because I bet I'll miss someone. But all of you guys that do YouTube on MEP, including YouTubers, yes YouTubers, you guys are awesome. I love you, you're awesome. Um, yeah, so, I suppose, let's see, subs, where am I at? I've got 108, but I haven't uploaded for about three weeks or something, because I've been having unfortunate family issues. My grandfather has got dementia, and my parents are going up the wall because he's been assaulting people in the care home that he's in. And so, oh my god, we've been being called loads and stuff, and oh my god, it's been so hectic here, I just, I couldn't record, it was, it was too hectic here, it was ridiculous. So yeah, I want to also just give out a thanks to MC, MC Ultimate Crew, one of the other guys on MEP. He probably got me, he got me over the 100 mark, and he probably got me about, I'd say, 10, 15 subscribers by just putting me in his um, channels bar on the side of his channel. Thank you very much for that. So yeah, me and MEP, I, I'm not really, I sort of had social problems, I suppose you could say. I'm too used to the Dutch lifestyle because, I don't know, it's just, I say what I feel, and that's kind of my fight, I just, I say what I feel, and that's a problem, that's kind of a problem, because I know at least Americans, they don't really like to hear those kind of things, so I have kind of insulted people on MEP quite a lot, which is really annoying, I, d I don't like doing it, it's just, it's kind of a thing that's kind of part of me now, which I really don't like, um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, <laughs> that that's it really. I'm not really, I'm just not really social. I'm not that social and so YouTube and kind of Minecraft is a place for me to get away from that kind of thing. Also, you guys are watching Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms gameplay and I hope you enjoy it because these games were, these games were quite fun. I've been playing quite a lot of it recently. I think I've got like 20 hours or something. It's it's a lot of fun. You guys should play it as well. It's free. You play and it's in the Steam. It's just in the Steam store. So you can just go download it. Go down to it. it. It'll be down in the description. Just check it out, guys. Um, yeah, so how I try to upload regularly. Basically, I try to upload daily for like the past year. And I say I've done that. Let's see how much percent of the time. Let me just get up a calculator. Calculator. So 365 days in a year divided by 252 videos, which is this one. That's wait no, that was that was the wrong way around. Go down at 252 divided by 365. I upload. <laughs> that's hilarious. I upload 69% of the time. JJ 69% of the time. Um, actually, that rhymed. That was kind of cool. So yeah, I upload 69% of the time for the past year, and I want to try and. So that's, let's see, that's, if we, that's 70% of the time, let's say. That is, wait, oh my god, let me get the calculator back up. So if I, for example, a week, if I do 0 0.7 times 7, that is 5 times a week. Nah, that's way too much. I want to upload, I think, about 3 times a day. No, 3 times a day, 3 times a week. Um, three times a week, and I just want to get this quality up. I want to, like, do retakes and stuff, because at the moment, it's just like, okay, I'm going to record, I record half an hour, I upload that, and that's it. That's it, done. Basically, in an hour, I've got a video. 
kind of thing. Or in at least half an hour, I've got a video, I've started recording, and an hour later, I've got a video rendered, and it's ready for upload that night, kind of thing. My internet will be improving, I'm getting uh, fiber optics, I think it's called, and getting 100 by 100 uh, upload download, which is going to be awesome, and I'm going to love it. It's going to be brilliant. Best ping ever on uh, FPS games, which I will love. Um, let's see, because I've written down like a whole list of things that I want to talk about. Um, let's see. I don't always upload as well because I have so many holidays. I go on holiday so often. I'm going to try and not go to England now with my parents as much because it's just, I don't know, it's getting boring almost, you could say. It's just I do it so often that I've seen England. I have seen England enough now. It's like I just I'm just getting bored kind of thing. So, yeah, I sort of want to stop going with them to England and maybe start doing more uploading in the holidays and stuff. I know this summer holiday, I'm going, I'm meant to be going three weeks to Slovenia with my parents and my little brother, but I'm actually going for the first week and then I'm flying from Ljubljana to Madrid and going to do, going to Spain two weeks on my own with a friend, well, on my own with a friend, that sounds good, with a friend, which is going to be awesome. It's basically free and we're going to be teaching Spanish children to, uh, to talk English, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's see, the other topic I want to talk about, I'm happy here and I'm going to upload less. Oh yeah, okay, that's it, yeah, so basically school at the moment is very important. I need to get the grades to go over to next year, because you can basically stay behind a year in the Netherlands, and I don't want to do that, because my grades aren't brilliant at the moment. Which is a real shame, because I just, I really struggle with languages and with history, and so my French is okay at the moment, that's just a, a six, which is like, just enough. But my German is a 4.2, and my, so is my history. And so I need to get them both up to a 4.5 to go over to the next year, which is going to be <laughs> it's going to be difficult. But I will try my hardest, guys, so that you will carry on being having that you will still be able to have videos, which is what I'm trying to say. Um, hopefully, hopefully 1080p. My audio, you should hear, guys, is a lot better. I'm going to use uh, Adobe Edition from now on, probably, to uh, do my videos. That should be a lot better. And uh, these are really good. It's like the, removing the static is so much better on here than on um, Audacity. Because Audacity, I don't know what it does, but it just, I don't know. It just sort of mugs it up. And it makes it all, it makes your voice sound really, really weird. And I don't like it. So uh, this is so much better. Um, okay, one bit a week, maybe two if I have time, I'll see, yeah, so that's basically it, probably, I think I'm probably going to aim for two, like one on Monday, one on Friday or something, or maybe just record as much as I can, or no, yeah, record as much as I can and I'll see about the videos, two, maybe three times a week, I could try, I could try something like that, maybe like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something. And I've got the weekend to record for Monday and possibly Wednesday, and then the week to record for Wednesday and Friday. I suppose that should work, so I'm going to try something about that. Um, yeah, the Dutch education. I wanted to talk about that quickly and about, like, yeah, at the moment I'm in the third year. There's You've got three different levels of education, and basically I'm doing the top one, which is, like, the, the basically the highest so for, like, I don't want to say smart kids. That sounds kind of mean, but it, it sort of is for the smarter people. And basically, I'm in the third of the sixth year. Basically, I'm halfway kind of thing. I'm just about to go over the halfway point. And then I'm going to go to university, and that should be awesome. Because basically, in, in the Netherlands, you do... You kind of... You choose your, for your subjects for next year, and then you do all of your final exams in the sixth year, and then you go on to do, like, a university. You basically just do one thing, and that's what you focus on. Which I really like. Um... Uh, let's see. Okay, so I wanted to talk also about where I am now with like YouTube and stuff, which is awesome. Let me go over to analytics actually. Yes, yeah, so I've got 108 subscribers. I always sort of boast about this, but I don't know. I just want to tell you guys like what I'm doing kind of thing. Um, I have nearly 5,000 views. I nearly 10, 10 euros. Uh, that's kind of cool. But other than that, I've got. I've got 108 subscribers, and I'm happy with that. I know that I've been around this for like a month or something, or more, but I, I haven't been uploading, so it doesn't really surprise me at all. When I don't upload, I don't get views, which is just kind of logical, really. 
and I think I sort of want to end off the video here. I'm going to have to see if I can find a good clip to play here because of course I'm doing this. I think I might put two together and try and speed some bits up or something. So yeah, this is going to be the end of this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the new me and my new awesome content. I've been I was I was on the MEP server yesterday and I got on there after about two weeks I'd say of not being on there. And just just playing and it, it, it was fun. So hopefully guys you enjoy the new me and I'll see you guys in the next video. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Bye.